Now I'm pretty sure a lot of us can relate to this and we all know the frustrations of having to untangle this ball of mess uh, whether we're out there in the woods get ready to hunt or when we're at home and we just got done with the hunt it is so time consuming so frustrating to deal with this this mess and I know that there's a ton of different options out there on the market there's a lot of different manufacturers that has made their own uh, unique type of bow hoist but in this video we are going to go over the hunter safety system bow and gear hoist You can obviously find this item on eBay, on Amazon, and other online stores. But I picked up uh, my two products from Cabela's and they retailed for $14.99 each. The one thing that really sold me about this item was its profile. As you can see, it is small, it's slim, it's sleek, it's lightweight. I measured it and it comes out to about 3 and 3 eighth of an inch long. 3 inch wide and 1 and 1 eighth of an inch in thickness so it definitely has that really nice thin profile smack dab in the middle of this item is the heart and soul of the hoist and this circular knob is basically the the handle in the middle of this uh, is a little cutout and once you flip this little cutout out this basically acts as your handle and you can grab hold on to this and start winching any access line back into the device. I love how they were able to combine the two together. And once you're done, you know, you can put the, uh, the handle back in and it's nice and snug in there. It doesn't flop out. So in one of the top corner is an open hole. You can run a small cord through it and use it to tie some sort of rope to it. On the back side of this hoist is the uh, metallic um, belt clip and it's held on down by two small screws. The tension on this clip is pretty strong. Uh, for the most part, I haven't had any issues with it slipping off. So it's definitely uh, nice and sturdy and it has held on. Moving on down to the carabiner, nothing special here, but the one thing that I really like what they did was adding this little rubber piece to it. And what this does is that it helps protect um, whatever equipment that you're clipping this carabiner onto. Taking a look at the rope itself, as you can see, it is nicely tied onto the carabiner. The stitching on the rope is nicely done as well. Uh, the one unique approach that they went with this is instead of you know your traditional rope, this has a flat rope, and I feel that with it being flat, it helps eliminate the uh, the, uh, the possibilities of it being tangled up when you're winding it back into the uh, device itself. Even though it's nice and flat, um, the times that I've used it. Uh, it's definitely nice and sturdy and it does hold up um, a good amount of weight. Overall rope length, you're getting just a little over 31 feet. So let's talk about weight. Here I'm going to demonstrate and compare this to a Allen hoist and I'm going to compare it to uh, your regular rope hoist as well. So comparing the three items together just to kind of give you guys an insight as to how much uh, this item weighs compared to some of the other options that you may be looking into. Alright, so let's talk about cons. Now, there isn't a whole lot of bad things about this product. Um, I think the uh, one thing that people might have some concerns of is the built and quality of it because it is so light and because the material that it's used, which is plastic, some people might feel that it feels a little cheap in the hand. I think another big concern that I think a lot of people have voiced was that when you're pulling the line out 
and when you're winding the rope back in, it is a little noisy. Now to some folks, this is a big deal. To me personally, I really don't mind. It doesn't bother me at all. But these are just some of the things that I can really kind of point out that I think a lot of people will probably have issues with. So I'm gonna go over how I have this currently set up and how I'm gonna use it. So I actually have two of these. I have one that's on my left and right side. They're both tied and clipped onto my hardness. And I use one for my camera arm, the other one for my bow. So when I'm climbing up that tree and I'm at the level where I'm at and I have everything set up, when I'm ready, then I will pull both of my items up to where I'm at. Vice versa, when I'm done at the end of a hunt, I will clip my items back on to uh, my two devices and then I will lower each of them back down to the base of that tree. Well, that basically concludes the Hunter Safety System Bow and Gear Hoist Review. I hope you liked this review. I hope that the information that I was able to provide you has given you some insight uh, in regards to this particular model. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.